Okay, so you're assembling your new E36 motor um, and maybe you got some Schrick cams online. Uh, there's a few distributors of them still, or maybe your engine came with them like mine. So um, I couldn't find a service manual anywhere online for these Schrick cams. I don't, I think these are a 265 lift, I believe. I'm not, really don't know. I'm totally in the dark in them. Uh, you can't search for the part numbers really or any instructions or anything. This is an S52 American engine, um, or USA engine. But uh, I think this goes for all of the E36 engines that have Schrick cams, as far as I can tell. So uh, these Schrick cams don't have dots on them on the flats, which the stock E36 cams, they have flats on them. So I actually have a stock head right here. This is from an M50TU, but same stuff. Uh, they have these little aligning dots for top dead center, which is super useful. But you got your new Shrek cams. Oh crap, can't set them to top dead center. What am I gonna do? Well, don't panic. So these cams have these little Shrek logos on them. There's one here on the exhaust cam. It's on the back. It's between cylinders uh, four and five kind of. Right here, there's this large logo. And then here on the intake cam, you have another leg label. Uh, it's a Schrick logo. And it's here um, right in between cylinders three and four right there. So you wanna make sure that these are up, facing directly up. There's no other logos on them. Those are the only ones. And then you put your cam lock block, which that's how you have to do the Vanos timing. Put the cam lock block in with these logos facing straight up and down. So that's the first thing to check, which I'm not sure if they all have these logos, but then I found this other thing, which is on the um, intake cam, you have this little logo that says, I think that's an M3 maybe, or maybe it's not an M, but it's this little logo, look for that. And then on the exhaust cam, you have this logo right here. So face these straight up and down, put your cam lock blocks in, face these logos straight up and down, Put the cam lock blocks in and then you're at top dead center which for reference when the logos are up and your cam locks are in cylinders two or uh, cylinder two exhaust ports should be open intake ports closed cylinders threes intake ports are open and exhaust ports are closed and then everything else is closed um, because you have cylinder one is at top dead center it's up so you want everything closed and cylinder six is a top to the center, so you obviously want that closed, and the other two are much lower. So that's all you gotta do. I hope this helps someone. I know I was pretty uh, frantic when I realized that there was no timing marks. So then once you get those set, then you obviously wanna set down here on your crank dampener, set this to top dead center, so you got a little mark there and then a little, little sight mark. Set that to top dead center, and then you can go and set your Vanos. Um, there's lots of great tutorials. I'm not gonna do a very good one, but uh, you put your primary uh, exhaust cam gear on with your chain and a temporary tensioner, and then you uh, slide in. There's a little chain guide you wanna put on next. Then you put in um, this little um, chain tensioner with a pin in it, and then you take this uh, cam gear here and you slide it on with this little arrow pointed slightly over to the side. Now actually my engine's not perfectly straight up and down, so it's not perfect, but you have to get the orientation right with some slots on this one. And then once the slots are correct, then you can put on the uh, Vanos unit and do the rest of the reassembly. But really that was an awful explanation. Just go watch some other YouTube channels. There's much better videos with way better lighting and everything to show you, but that's just a quick overview. So that's how with your cool Shrick aftermarket high duration lift cams, you can easily find top dead center. It's this logo here and this logo here, and then these Shrick logo and this other Shrick logo. So that's how you find it. Hope that helps someone.